If you're keeping up with Apple's latest updates, here's everything you need to know about iOS 18.4 Beta 4. This update dropped just a week after Beta 3, landing in March alongside iPadOS, watchOS, macOS, tvOS, and visionOS updates. If you're updating on an iPhone 16 Pro Max, the download size is around 956.3 megabytes, so it's not too heavy. Apple also tweaked the build number, shifting from 22E5232F in Beta 3 to 22E5232A in Beta 4. And for those using the iPhone 16 series, the modem firmware is now updated to version 1.4.3. One noticeable change is with the backtap feature. In Beta 3, Apple introduced a banner that popped up to confirm backtap actions, but in Beta 4, that banner is completely gone. There's no option to bring it back in the settings, so Apple decided to scrap it entirely. Apple News Plus subscribers, on the other hand, will notice a new food tab, making it easier to browse recipes. A small but oddly specific tweak in this section is the addition of a colon after yield in ingredient lists. And if you were wondering, the colored timers introduced in Beta 3 are still here unchanged. Live activities are getting a cool upgrade as well. Apps with live activities can now use ultra-wideband to track nearby interactions in the background. This means better accuracy for things like tracking deliveries or ride-sharing apps. Bug fixes are always a big deal, and this update takes care of quite a few. The improved location accuracy toggle in system services was acting up, but now it stays enabled properly. Notification center is also smoother now before, some users couldn't scroll through all their notifications, and timestamps on notifications with images were overlapping. Those issues are now fixed, along with a bug that made some notifications flicker or collapse unexpectedly. Searching for SIM settings in the Settings app now works properly, and Wi-Fi calling is reportedly more stable. Apple intelligence and writing tools have also been improved. One lingering issue, though, is with the Vision Pro app. If you downloaded it from the App Store on iOS 18.4 Beta 1, it would open to a black screen. The good news? Updating to Beta 2 or later fixes the problem. Geekbench scores show a slight improvement in single core performance, hitting 3,529, while multi-core scores sit at 8,678. Daily usage feels about the same as Beta 3, with no noticeable lag or crashes. Battery life remains stable, with about a 2% drop during video recording. So what's next? Apple is likely to release the RC version around the week of the 24th of March, and the final public release is expected in April 2025. There's a chance we might see an RC2 or a small delay if Apple wants to align it perfectly with its April rollout plans. And that's everything new in iOS 18.4 Beta 4. If you found this update helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to stay ahead with all the latest iOS updates, Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss any updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.